Gamers, today we are entering another migration free for all. This time we have platinums. We have done bronze and silvers, then we have done golds, and now we are about to do platinums. We're gonna use Cutie Megatron to hide the in game time. With that being said, this game is played live right now and in in the bronze and silver and the gold versions we have had like four english three rus kind of deal this time check this shit out everyone is a different civilizations platinum showing what they're made of platinum showing what they're made of Let's introduce the gamers. Astiwana, the red Mongol gamer, instantly going for Doc. Yo, Plat Snow, man. Listen, this is not gold or bronzes. They know they're going for Docs immediately. We got Dane for sure, for sure, going for a Doc as well. And they're also, okay, this Doc is not good. At, oof, okay, that's unfortunate Doc for Astiwana, okay. But we got good Doc from our pink gamer. In the orange, we got Strong Jaw Ale with HRE. You guys can see these guys' builds are looking. We got Mr. Berkshire. Uh, he's an English player, and as we've learned so far, uh, English players are the island boys. So we got the island boy in teal, and he's opening with farms. Interesting choice. Yeah, more farms. Okay. Interesting choice for sure, considering there is fish everywhere. Uh, blue, we got buffed D Dogo. We got, uh, he is playing Roos. He's trying to push in the deer. Struggling a little bit, I gotta say. Yeah. Oh, just a. Yeah. Mm hmm. Alright, close enough. Get it, kill it. Okay, he's. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. He's trying to move it. Okay, he got it. Boom. Then in the yellow, we have GG Obama playing Ab Acid. This is the first Abbasid. First Mongo, by the way, and first Abbasid that we have seen. Amazing. We got Silly Putty. The Ab Acid. Or sorry, did I say Ottoman? I meant, uh, I meant Ottoman and Mongol. I don't know what I said. Ottoman and Mongol, yeah. We got Silly Putty, the purple Abbasid, and then last but not least, first time ever, we got Boop Kiss. It's like Boop Kiss as the Green Deli. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. God damn. I was molding earlier, if you're watching this on YouTube. And I forgot I haven't had any food and now I just got chicken wings and now I'm energized. I got the, the mineral water right here. Wow. Mm -mm -mm. That's what I'm talking about. So, that deli dock is also unfortunate. Yeah. I mean, I guess if you're near corner, you should always make a dock at the corner, right? There's always fish in the corners, so... What is with the English players in this map? I don't know. Anyhow, we can see already, we've seen it in gold. Gold players produced a lot more fishing ships. Now I'm actually very curious to see the progression that's happening. We see an also early transport ship from Bruce to get the deer in the middle. He's gonna have so much bounty. It's gonna be crazy. But we've seen progression from bronze silver to then gold in the way they play and now we have platinum so i'm expecting a little bit of a little bit better everything you know like better fishing better water control maybe earlier trading maybe taking the relics earlier you know i'm expecting just just small improvements everywhere i'm not expecting platinums to play like vastly different from the bronze or, or silver or gold in terms of play styles 
but I am expecting a little bit more efficient, like I said, a little bit of everything. So the meta so far that we have seen uh, has been to go on the main uh, mainland and just build landmarks there and build TCs. Now the island boy, of course, aging up with eight and he will uh, be staying on the island for now, right? No dock yet. Who needs a dock? Uh, we got Rus with Kremlin on the island. I like that. He's securing the big gold as well. So pretty good start for him. He's getting a lot of bounty. We got uh, Ottoman going with the trade landmark. Now, actually, obviously, I, I think this is a really good choice. Because you can put the six traders inside and he's going to get a shit ton of gold. So that's nice for him. We got Abbasid. This is what I was talking about when we did the gold edition. I think Abbasid should build a house of wisdom on the on the big uh, big island because you want to you know make sure you get your golden age tier three eventually, and it's also going to provide armor. Is that scout stuck? What are you doing, step scout? So I like that house of wisdom right there. He's not aging up yet, by the way. Kind of interesting. Oh, he has no gold. Oh, why does he have no gold? Oh, he just started mining. Okay, I thought he spent his gold somewhere. No, he just started mining. Okay. I mean, there's no real rush to age up, I would say. We got Delhi printing fishing ships because he has a scholar inside of the dock. And that reduces the production speed or uh, production time. Increases production speed of the fishing boat. So he's just printing boats right now. And he went with Dome of the Faith. Um, not sure if I... Well, I guess if he went out of victory, he would have had to make it here, right? So they're connected. Or no, it, it would have to be just within the influence. We see Mongol landing and he's going with the Silver Tree. Okay. I mean, I don't know how viable that's going to be, but he will attempt to trade. We got Barbican from the Chinese. Chinese also has a fuck 17 fishing ships already. Holy shit. 17 fishing ships already. Hey, monster dog. What's up? And then we got HRE without a prelate. He should get the prelate over. Yeah, he has no prelate there. Uh, and we already see some aggression. So now I wonder, because these guys, like I said, they're they're a bit higher compared to golds. And, and you know, all memes aside, I do think that golds and silvers and bronze are much closer than we're going to see golds and plats. I might be coping, but I feel like gold is, is kind of like where you have a lot of players that just placed there or just got stuck there or whatever. But plat is like you're showing improvement, you know? So... I think we're gonna see just a little bit of uh, everything going better for them. Still, like, this is so many fishing ships, and I think all the players already have, like, way more fishing ships than we, like, look at this, holy shit, that we saw the gold players have. And, and they're also going for multiple docks very early, which is another thing we did not see from gold players. Look at that. Three, four docks already. And they're also, a lot of them are looking for aggression as well. A lot of them are playing aggro, and um, I wouldn't be surprised if we see really fast castles, because with this amount of... Um... Oh, he still didn't send Prelate. I don't like that. With this amount of fishing boats that they have, they should be able to age up really, really fast to, um, to castle. He went military wing first, okay. Probably preservation of knowledge would be better, I would assume. We do see some aggression. They're trying to scout around. Just remember, it's pretty hard to scout on this map. Like, you can scout the main island, but scouting the, the mini islands is pretty rough, right? You gotta send, like, fishing boats or something, or transport ships. And, um, yeah. I mean, so far... A lot of booming. We got Yellow, who is Ottoman. On the land now as well, but he has no TC. So, Island Boy. Island Boy doesn't have a dock yet, guys. 
Oh, he has a dog. He just has no... <laughs> Look at his vision. Oh, I can't show you his vision. Uh, can I? Yeah, I can. Look at his vision. He made a galley. That's it. He... Ooh. Yo, if he shoots here... Shoot that. Island boy doesn't give a fuck. Ruse got some knights going. Yellow is harassing purple over here. And he's got the six traders in, so he's gonna be getting a lot of gold over time. HRE getting the cathedral. So, if I'm, I mean, if I'm any Civ, you try to get the relics, right? Because we've seen yesterday in gold games that the gold is a big problem later on for everyone. Unless you can eliminate one of the guys next to you and then water trade or something. Island boy is an imposter. It's just a, it's just English thing. Atri is playing without H to landmark. Yeah, I saw that he has no prelate. And he still has no prelate, by the way. He's like, he has no gold. I'm not... I think he's, he's gonna try to go for more. Yeah, he sees now. But I think... Oh, he has a prelate. Okay. I think he's gonna go try uh, going for, like, multiple TCs. And the other... In, in the lower uh, league games that we've seen here, both eight, all Atri's went burger, actually. But now we see HRE actually going for Cathedral. Asiwana struggling a little bit. Roos harassing with knights. He's got so many fishing boats. Oh, that's why he's got nothing on land. Because he's massing ships on water. Oh, he's getting attacked by green and pink right now. And blue on land. So, unlucky, brother. Unlucky. It really do be like that sometimes. So Mongo, I mean, he's got the the silver tree, but not much else. You know, he's he's just kind of chilling. I'm trying to see if I'm missing any action. Hre with the two relics, about to be three, three relics. And right now, out of all the spawns and spots and stuff, I would probably give the biggest advantage to Orange because. Island Boy is is playing single player, so his orange has got fishing for free, right? And he's getting relics, so he's literally not contested at all. And if you want to spawn next to someone, you probably want to spawn to next to an Island Boy because he doesn't attack. Abbasid, four point two k food. <laughs> You can see these guys are not used to having this much fishing eco. If we scroll through the players, you can see all of them. Okay, per Pink does not, but Pink did age up. Yeah, Pink did age up. But all of these guys just have like so much food stacked up and not enough gold. And we see a lot more fighting ships, by the way, from all of them. Like Red's got fighting ships, Pink's got fighting ships. Orange, I mean, he's chilling. Island boy, there it is. Five longbows coming in hot. <clears throat> and Roos doesn't actually have that many fishing boats, which is probably a mistake. Like, there's no reason not to make a lot of fishing ships, especially as Roos, because he just busted. We see a little fight here going on. Should they set a food for gold? Yeah, they should. I mean, if you have 4k, for sure, yeah. 4.6k. Like, he could just sell food and age up. Abbasid is still in uh, Feudal Age. By the way, a lot of these guys, I just want to make one thing, like, clear. A lot of these guys might not, or some of these guys, might not be playing water maps. A lot of people in AV4 don't play much water maps. So I think some of these guys will be better at playing on water and some of the guys will be worse on playing on water. Like some of the people will be managing their eco a lot better and, and some just won't, right? And I think that's kind of what you're seeing. 
Yeah, you can you can see like they're they're very much getting ready, and maybe this is the way to play this map. Maybe you're supposed to fully commit to water so you can kill one guy and trade with their dock or something. Because they're uh... oh, Grand Galley. Grand Galleys are strong, as you can see. And yeah, demo ship doesn't do a lot to it. Sacred sites somewhat spread out. Do they always spawn on the bottom? This is the third game and all three games they've been on the bottom side. Yeah, I, th I think you need gold. Like, I think gold is the biggest issue in migration. You can put the relic in the dock. Yeah, Ottoman uh, Castle Age, all memes aside, the Grand Galley is super, super strong, by the way. China and Mongol fighting on water. Delhi is now on the land. He's connecting mosque. He's connecting Wi-Fi to the keep. And uh, he does have compound of the defender. And I think purple is the first one to be in trouble, it feels like. He's about to age up, which is nice. But, uh, yeah. Now, the villagers are dying, as you guys can hear. They are up. Mm -hmm. And uh, we see Spaskaya already from blue. Blue went Abbey of the Trinity and got zero relics, by the way. That is what we like to call oof. Unlucky. Unlucky, brother. Uh, pink has got a lot of villagers that are idle. Oh, and we see some aggression with orange and pink. So everyone's fighting on their own side. We got Elefantos destroying the Mongol. Mongol's in a lot of trouble. Oh no, he's getting pushed. Astiwana is getting pushed from the top by Delhi and from the bottom by China. That is not a good... And, and, and he's getting pushed by Delhi on land. Oh no, you don't want horsemen. Oh, oh god, did you see that? Oh my god. They just disappeared. They got fucking deleted. So yeah, purple is, is kind of looking like in a little bit of trouble. Massive Pahi coming in now from Ottoman. Oh, dude, Island Boy. Hey, he's showing up. Berkshire on the mainland. Let's go. Delhi elephants pushing in. Mongol not looking too hot. Not looking too hot. HRE, three relics in this cathedral. And this one that's AFK. Unfortunate. That's gonna be a lot of gold. It's gonna be a lot of gold. Mr. Berkshire reached. Berkshire age Okay, these two guys both got age 4 landmarks uh, Well, I was gonna say they're probably gonna survive for a while, but as I say that there's two siege workshops, so maybe not That's a lot of ships actually and they don't have the the upgrades. Okay, Mongol does have upgrades for for ships oh. But uh, China does not HRE punching through. Is Core here too? Uh, yeah, Core is playing the red actually. Cat is beating his ass right now. I'm joking. Oh no, the. It hurts. It hurts. Hey, Obama! Obama, wake up! That 
most painful. We do see HRE still pushing into pink. So what do we have? We have pink. Uh-oh. We have pink and orange fighting. Now, pink did pick a fight with red too. Luckily for him, red's too busy with green. Because otherwise pink would just get banged right now by two guys. Green is fighting red. But green is also about to be maybe fighting purple. And also purple is fighting yellow on land and water. And then we got blue is fighting teal. And you know why? You know what? I love FFAs. I think FFAs are great. But FFAs with money? It's just not it. Like this is real FFA. No one's trying to survive. No one's trying to camp. No one's trying to fucking fuck over someone because they lost to him in a previous game. Nobody, like, none of the players know each other in this lobby. And they're just doing what's best for them. And what's best for them is killing the guy next to them. You know what I mean? That's what I love. It's super toxic. It's just too toxic with money. I mean, yeah. Like, whenever there's money involved, people will do whatever to win. If, if the chances of winning increase by you camping, they're not going to engage anyone, you know? Like, this is free-for-all right now. Literally every single person is fighting in this lobby. And now Ottoman poked the purple and purple is beating his ass. Oh no, don't do him like that, brother. So Ottoman was kind of winning on water, but not anymore, it seems. And now Ottoman's got some Janissaries, but that's a lot of purple. Purple did not get boot camp. And... Uh, Mongol is trying to survive. Oh, he does have towers, though. Okay, he's got some towers. But that's gonna be a, a rough one. I don't know who do I follow. Like, everyone's fighting. Okay, these guys are, are just chilling a bit. This is obviously, guys, by the way, Teal is new and improved version of the island boy. Because Teal only took 20 or 15 minutes to get on the mainland and is now transferring a lot of workers. So it's uh, Island Boy 2.0. And we do see China tapping out first. China is dying on the water by orange. Dying on the land by orange. And I guess China fighting with Mongol really early did not help it. On the other side, we might see another tap out. But we also might see Mongol tap out. Oh no, Mongol is pushing into Delhi. I don't know if that's what you necessarily want to do. But I guess Delhi is bullying him, so he kind of has to do something, right? Oh no. He shift clicked on the buildings. On this side, Ottoman is fallen. TC in shambles. Right now. Green's now ramming purple? Bro, calm down. Jeez. See, this is where this is where the games can turn. Like, if yellow gives away, gives up right now. Yellow just leaves. Green oh purple is immediately gonna turn on green, and then green is fighting two versus one. By the way, uh orange and red should immediately try to trade with China. HRE reaching Imperial. What did he reach it with? Okay, Ellsback. I like that. Okay, HRE is gonna have this gold and this gold as well. So that's pretty good, good for him. More farms. You know, I mean, I don't think. I think Island Boy just doesn't play water maps, by the way, because there's no reason not to go water, right? So you can see an example of, of a player that probably doesn't play water maps or doesn't have a lot of experience on them. Like, he's just playing like a normal game on water map. Now, who's HRE gonna push next? Because that's also another thing that you need to watch out in FFAs, by the way. Mongo loses two landmarks. One thing you gotta watch out in FFAs is whenever a player dies, you need to try at least 
figure out who killed that player. These are fishing ones, but... Because if you know, okay, pink died, orange is most likely gonna push north or west. It, like, he's most likely not gonna go across the map to kill someone. So you always gotta be, like, aware of who you're fighting against. Uh, potentially, right? Like, who's next to you, how they're doing, and so on and so forth. And English is getting mowed down. And this is just the water economy for blue. Has been going on for quite a while, and obviously it's paying off big time. And now, Teal, our island boy, the only English player. I mean, all these guys are the only of their sub. He just lost his whole army. And HRE is coming in hot. And we already see what's gonna happen, by the way. Okay, I didn't. Okay, I didn't mean that. That was good timing, though. Uh, I didn't mean that. I meant HRE, AK Strong Jaw Ale, is going to go for the Sacred Sites. You can see him. That's why he's attacking here. He wants to free this up so he can take it, and he's probably gonna take this one because there's a there's a keep right here. Top side, we got Delhi and Purple. And I gotta say, this game is super fucking action packed. Like, holy shit. Like, there's been. Like, usually in the previous ones, I had to speed up a little bit. You know what I mean? Like, I had to speed up the game to make sure that, uh. You know, get rid of the downtime, because sometimes there's nothing to talk about. I've been playing it on times one the whole time. Like, there's been just fights 24-7. And now, Orange, I mean, I would say still is in the best position. He's got access to one, two, three, four golds, one big stone, relics, alone on fishing. And, uh, yeah. Oh no, yellow. Obama, where are you going, brother? Obama is about to lose 10 workers. I mean, I don't I don't think blue wants to. By the way, they can see score in game while they're playing, but you can see orange and blue are equal in score almost. Exactly the the same amount. And uh, I don't but the thing is they're equal in score. But I feel like Orange is just gonna mow him down like nothing. Oh! Oh! Okay, a little snipe right there. Where's HRE's army, by the way? Didn't he have a lot of men at arms, or did he just throw it all away? I mean, he's not gonna die, he's got bombard and towers and shit. We see a trade attempt from purple. And yeah, let's talk about gold. So purple is out of gold. Uh, there's no gold near him. Delhi still has gold. And I'm actually surprised that Delhi is not mining this gold. Maybe he's not seeing that he has no gold. Um, or maybe he's not noticing that there's gold right here. But Delhi is out of gold. Rus is out of gold as well. And, uh, and yeah, Orange is also trading now, or starting to trade. Mongo is chilling. Mongo's gonna attempt to take the land again. Oh, he could take this gold, actually. Uh, so who do we have in castle? Obama and Bupkis are still in castle, and Astiwana. So Mongo, Delhi are still in castle, which is no bueno. You got age up. You gotta age up. And now we see Abbasid getting some stone over here. You know what? Mongol is actually really good on this. I think every sieve, to be honest, can be used uh, really well on this map. Actually, yeah, this is what I was gonna talk about. I actually think that Mongol is really good on this map. He should make horsemen and burn all these buildings with the... Yeah, yeah, he's getting the upgrades. With the upgrades, and he's gonna get all the resources from killing every single building. 
And there's obviously going to be a lot of dead players, so you can actually get a lot of gold. And if he was Imperial, he could have gotten stone for destroying buildings too, which would be crazy good. But I think like any Civi play here can be good. HRE. I mean, you can see why. Getting the relics is big here. Um, having strong keeps is pretty big here. I think Ruse for fishing boats is great. English, I mean, it's English. French can be... Um... French can be, I think, really good because of faster TC production time. You also have very strong ships. Um, and you have Red Palace at the end, which is very important. I think Delhi might seem like a weak sieve, by the way. But I actually don't think... Did he get tight barns? Yeah, he did. I don't think Delhi is a weak sieve here because you don't need to spend any gold on upgrades. So yeah, your upgrades are gonna take a long time, but you actually don't need to spend any gold upgrading stuff, which is gonna give you more gold for uh, for units. And these two guys are kind of chilling right now, because neither of them has gold, so they've stopped attacking. And yellow went all the way around, all the way around, and he's making a TC right here. Not sure. Okay, I'm not sure how that one's gonna go. But we'll see. Mongol is now burning the buildings. And uh, HRD is pushing into Rus. Although Rus has a shit ton of production buildings coming. He's got a keep. Mm -mm. Trade ship right here chilling. Um, he needs to click. I'm assuming he's trying to click to, to trade with this. Culverins. We got Delhi coming in. From downtown. Mongols got the same placements on the docks. And, uh... Yeah, I actually like Mongol here, to be honest. Like, you get... You can get so much value. You can get the upgrade for ships. It makes you get resources every time you kill a ship. Then you can get the, the pillage stuff. So you can go around and burn buildings, get gold. Um... Oh, whoa, 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 purple, where are you going, brother? Oh, he tried to get gold. Mm -mm, no, no, no. Not today. So, I think there's a lot of value. Like, also, Ottoman is pretty decent with uh, this landmark. And also having the, the ships in H3. Like, you can completely wipe out whoever is next to you. Like, just kill all their fishing eco. But, I don't know about you guys. Uh, but I can actually see like the small improvements that the, the guys are doing that the players are doing um, And the game is a lot more active Like all the players are way more active on the map like they're moving their armies more They're They're actively trying to get resources. They're not just like oh, I guess I have mood line and that's it like they're act Oh, whoa, 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 that has boiling oil Was it not activating? It activated once. There it is again. Um. Oh no. Oh no. He pushed onto the. He pushed onto blue and purple is like, okay, time to beat your ass real quick. Keep goes down. Oh my god. Obama is making Seagate Castle. But if you look at his vision, like, he doesn't know. Like, yeah, he doesn't know. <laughs> he, he doesn't know. Look at this. He's making his landmark here. Mean <laughs> meanwhile, there's fucking Elsbach, Bombard Tower, and two keeps right behind it. But he doesn't see it. Oh, <laughs> Dude, look at this. Look at this. When this tower finishes... <laughs> That's funny as fuck. Okay, he's landed here now. Let's see if it's gonna be any better. Okay, he landed here, but there's actually... Yeah, there's nothing here. Because obviously you don't see the whole island, right? You don't know wherever the resource is. Oh, poor guy, man. I mean, he's trying, alright? 
White stupa. Okay, Mongo is making a landmark on a different island. Okay. I mean, in a way that makes sense because this is his only landmark left, by the way. He's lost two landmarks here. Oh no, man. He's just getting blasted by the keeps. He's still burning the buildings. He's still alive, you know. And the thing is, the the three strongest players right now... Well, I was gonna say purple, but I don't see purple's army. I think he just traded it all out into blue. And then attacked green. And green has a shit ton of units now. I would say the, the, the four strongest players. I mean, obvious ones, right? Purple, green, blue, and orange. But a red, I think, can recover. I don't know about yellow. I, I don't know about Obama, but I think as Ostiwana can recover. Because getting the gold, you know, he's gonna get a lot of the resources here. Is he getting... No, he's not, he needs this. Stone bounty improved. That's what he needs. So he gets stone. And I do see... Great bombarding placement on Seagate Castle. Oh god, dude. Obama is about to make a tower and be like, really? Keeps here too? Come on, me. Oh, oh, HRE doesn't have elite army tactics. What's up? I see Obama is winning. That's a questionable. He doesn't have elite army tactics, that's pretty bad. Wait, he doesn't have any upgrades, what the fuck? Bro! Oh my god, he's got no upgrades. He's got defense. Oh no. I mean, at this point, like how much gold does he have? He's got like 900 gold per minute from relics. And probably something else. I mean, he's probably mining somewhere. I don't know where. But he really needs to get upgrades. Oof. Keep goes down. This guy Obama went all the way. Look where he is. He went all the way around, dropped transfer ship, made TC, made landmark, then made the tower, and then saw that there's two keeps, two keeps, and else. <laughs> And then he went to the other side to do the same. He dropped the TC and there's nothing. Is it the um, <laughs> he's stuck. I mean, he got pushed off the main island pretty hard. But I think blue and orange are probably the uh, probably the strongest right now by far. Probably HRE just because of all the gold. He should get upgrades though. He really, really should. He's going around the water with one trade ship as well <laughs> kill someone and then trade with them real quick and uh i mean i can't see yellow coming back it just it's pretty rough mongol though he could do some spicy shit maybe a landmark sniper or something we got Otter Totter right here, you guys can see her, but she's right here. And, uh... What is... So we got 738 gold per minute, and Blue's got 288, and they're not trading, by the way. No one is trading with the dead players. Which is a big mistake. Wait, did he... Wait, he burned the Chinese dock. Okay, there's a dock here, you could trade with that one. Another keep goes down, and this is looking like beginning of the end. This is not looking good. Can you better snoop? I am. Women can confirm. She's petting the snoop very aggressively. It's nice. Every time I pet the snoop, she pushes in. Island boy died early. Oh, Island boy. Is that the champion from the previous one? No, no, that's every English player in, in, in Migration Free For All we've done. There was always an English player that just does not build ships and he just stays on the island. <laughs> and then comes out and, you know, doesn't end well. Alright, purple and green. When I was playing, I couldn't trade with a dead player. Uh, 
You can for sure. Jesus Christ, the dog just wants a chicken. Anyway, if you guys played in this game and died or lost, please don't spoil because the game is obviously, you know, still going. Blue is slowly but surely dying and now orange is attacking a little bit on the water. Although he doesn't have, well, he's got some fishing ships. But this is looking rough. Oh, never mind, those are fishing chips. <laughs> those are what? Oh, those are fishing chips? Oh, oh no, they're attack boys. Oh, oh my god. Haruman! Delhi still age 3. Monka. How does he have so much fucking gold? What? Oh, he oh he just mined this, I think. Yeah, his gold per minute is dropping. Okay. He really needs to age up, man. He's got 65 on food. He needs to age up. Like, you cannot fight with, with castle upgrades the whole game. Atory punching through. Roos in shambles. No upgrades for Atory. He's literally beating this guy with no upgrades. No elite army tactics. Roos full, fully juiced up units. Well, he's got veteran archers, so no elite archers. But he is... Okay, no elite horsemen either. Okay, so... Okay, they're both missing upgrades. Green and purple still fighting it out. And now red is bullying green. Ah, the good old, remember? If you attack someone, make sure you kill them. Because r green kind of killed red, but not really. And now red is doing like a fuck you. And he's also getting resources every time he sinks one of these. Look at that. 25, 25, 25, 25. And he's just farming the fishing ships right now. And I think that that might be the beginning of the end for green, to be honest. Because he had like 40 fishing ships and now he's gonna lose all of them. And that's gonna be a shit ton of eco. And if purple keeps push... No. Bro, you did not do that. You did not just put this in there. <laughs> But he even knows purple is there. Purple is the one who killed him. What? <laughs> he knows he's there. <laughs> Yo, he's making knights. He's making lancers. Let's go. Let's go, baby. He's all over the place. Orange. I'm assuming he doesn't have the... Where is it? Does he have Siege Workshop? Okay, he does have the RAM upgrade. And he is trading now. He's beginning to trade. Dude, if I'm Mongol, I think in this situation, how many resources does he have? Wait, what? Wait. Oh, they're all here, okay. Dude, if I'm Mongol, honestly, I just fucking... I just make like 50 horsemen and I just go from the little island to the little island just burn everything. No one's doing water trade? I mean, I think the only person who can do water trade is... I mean, okay, red can do it, obviously. He's not. Orange doesn't even need it. Yellow can't. Blue can, but he's not. He's busy dying over here. And then... Purple can't. Green can't. So only, like, three players can do trading on water. And I would say... One of them doesn't necessarily even need it, which is the HRE.
Oh, Yellow's joining in on the fight. Guys, if there's anyone molding at the players or like insulting them in any way, just time them out for 24 hours. And next one is a perma. If you think you can do better, you're more welcome to join and show how amazing and how good you are. Spoilers, you're not. You're equal rank as these guys. Alright. Thank you. <clears throat> I mean, it's true. It's true. <laughs> All right. So what do we got? We got yellow holding on. That's the best way to describe that one. Oh, this stone was untouched the whole game. Orange is trading. How much gold? 15 gold. And we do see blue tapping out. I mean, he's got literally nothing left. And blue seemed pretty strong. But maybe blue attacking orange, not the greatest idea. He could have actually killed purple because orange killed Island Boy. And then he, you know, didn't actually attack blue. Blue attacked him. And that one did not work out. How is it 15? I mean, you can see where the trade is. And, uh... Reminder that this is not the full. They're getting gold on each turn. So it's actually like 30 gold trade. And if you look at the minimap, that's a tiny ass trade. That is not a long trade at all. Yeah. The thing is, Orange is playing pretty well. And I know some people are going to be like, Yo, Orange is way better than everyone in the lobby. I mean, he is playing well. He is in a really good position. But if someone's like running the conspiracy of like, oh, he's higher rated, he literally doesn't have plus one melee damage. And he's running full melee comp. He doesn't have lead army tactics. He's just playing well, you know? He's beating people left and right. And now Delhi's turn has come. Delhi's about to get his ass beat. Delhi still in castle, by the way, with trillion villagers. And purple's like, yeah, yeah, you kill him. I'll wait right here. Yeah, you kill him. I'll just wait over here. And Mongols going around with mass arrow ships now, and just destroying everything. Yellow's still holding on. He's, he's got 12 Sipahis and he's gonna do something with them, I tell you. Just watch. Just watch. Oh, cancel keep. Oh, Orange has to fight over middle because he's trading. Mongols now going for orange. Oh shit. But the thing is, red is kind of like a, like a, you can't really kill him, you know? And he's just going around and killing everyone's fishing ships. And now when orange loses fishing ships, by the way, orange has zero farms. His whole economy is on fishing ships. Literally, his whole economy is fishing ships. 24. That's all the ships here. And he's about to lose everything. And once he does... That's not going to be a good one for him. Green is still alive. Let's check the resources. Boopkis. 81 supply. That is Delhi. Not looking too great. Silly. Sid has got some resources, he's got some eco, his fishing's still going, he's pumping. 
we got Obama with... He's maxed out. What the fuck? Where the fuck are your units, though? He's got some units here. Where the fuck are his units? Okay, he's got some units here. Okay, oh my god, yo, he's raiding everyone. He's everywhere at once. Look at him. And uh, Boopkis did tap out, which is Delhi. I mean, he's he's pretty much dented in completely. Yo, Yellow's back. And, uh, well... This is a bit unfortunate for Orange. Went from the strongest player to about to die. I actually think Orange is gonna lose next. He's getting pushed by the purple. He's getting raided by yellow. And red is killing him on water at the same time. Damn. That's an unexpected turn. Yeah, all these fishing ships are gonna be a rip. And these are Imperial junks, by the way. Like, they have Imperial upgrade. They even got the burning upgrade. And, uh, is Purple gonna start trading? Not yet, but he might. And, or I mean, Orange is just dead, no? Yeah, 99 supply, man. He's got no food. He's still got fishing ships, but... Probably not for long. Yeah, a lot of them are idle. He's lost a lot of villagers from the yellow raids. He's losing the bombard towers. Damn, bro. D dude, in the span of like three minutes, he went from the strongest player to dying. Show red resources. Here we go. That's red. Did he ever... Okay, he's getting the stone bounty, stone bounty improved. Orange is trading over here. That's a long trade too, but that's gonna be stopped as well. Meanwhile, the middle is getting pushed in, and uh, I think uh, I think Obama forgot about these. Like he's he's had these units AFK here for a very long time. Abbasid pushing in with a shit ton of spears. Burn them buildings one by one. Reminder, he has Elsbach, and Elsbach has influence all the way here. So all the buildings are taking 33% less damage, by the way. Every single building there. Arrow ships mowing down. Mm -mm -mm. And just like that. He has fallen. He is looking dead. Is he trading? No. Oh my god. Silly put putty didn't get any upgrades either. This guy's got no upgrades at universities. Unfortunate. That would have been really good. Imagine your whole army having 20% more health. He's beating them without it. I mean, it's fair. Strong Jaw Ale doesn't have upgrades either. Oof. Oof. Keeps. I mean, he's got rams, you know, they're slowly doing work. Slowly going down. One by one. Mm -mm. And Abbasid is probably looking in the best position right now, but Abbasid could be landmark snipe. Now, not very likely because there are keeps. But it's possible. Wait, is he gonna try actually? I mean, this is not gonna. That's not gonna work, right? You even need a lot more, but it's possible. Oh, he's going for orange. He doesn't give a shit. 
Ooh, snaps that pellets. Oh no, the villagers. We do see another attack. Hold up. Hold the phone. Funny thing is, there's nothing to raid. Like, Atri has no economy on the land. We do see some land shits mixed in there. So these spearmen from Abbasid are going to get mowed down completely. No boiling oil for Abbasid, by the way. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's boiling oil. Oh, Oh. He killed a villager. Okay, he killed a villager. That's good. That's good. Good trade. Good trade right there. Uh oh. Red is now on the way to beat Abbas's eco. Orange is trading, by the way. The keeps going down. Is this comeback for HRE? He stabilized on the water. Oh no, his whole eco is about to go down. He, I mean, he's got farms, but they're empty, so he's making farms now. But that is a uh, that is a problem right there. That's a problem right there, brother. Oh, that's so many fishing ships, actually. That's so painful. Let's check. Eco for HRE, not looking good. But he's got 1.1k uh, gold per minute. Oh, Abbasid is out, man. He is out, out of the, of the resources right now. And he just lost all his fishing eco. And the next time they fight... It's gonna be pretty rough. Yo, HR is about to. He is about to beat uh, Yellow's mini base here. He's like, I've had enough of you, holy shit. Oh no. These are land shits. 16 land shits and 22 men at arms. Oh, these are so stacked. Oh, dude, he's getting mowed down. Oh my god, no, dude. Great Bombard. By the way, he's got a Great Bombard and he's got a Great Bombard in placement here. So even though he kills everything, Atri also loses everything to the double Great Bombard combo. Yellow's about to lose the base here. Yellow's losing the Fishing Eco. Great Bombard goes down. Look at this. Woo! Oh, is he gonna lose Bombard now? Probably. Oh my god. He got deleted. Mongols is doing the work. And uh, Abbasid still no upgrades, by the way. That is unfortunate. A lot of the guys in this game actually completely forgot their upgrades or skipped them. Mongols just killing all the ships so he can get the resources. Dude, Mongols should go for a wonder. I mean, he has no resources, but he should. <clears throat> I think both purple and, and orange stopped attacking one another. I think purple stopped attacking because he was running out of resources. Yeah, so he's remaking workers now and putting on farms and stuff. Oh, he doesn't have horticulture. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. 
trade. Okay, this this trade does not look big. Let's see what we got. Four gold, four wood. Eight, eight. Yeah, that's all right. Okay, yeah, he's getting zero food. Look at this. Zero four four. Let's go, baby. The trade booth. All right. Yellow is losing his landmarks. Red is still going around killing all the ships. People are probably like so pissed off about the ships just going around and just killing everything. Bombard goes down, but so will the landmark if the trap shoots again. Yeah, that goes down. And now purple's back. He ran through the, the, the defense and his horsemen are already dented in quite badly. Already dented in quite badly. He's gonna kill this. And uh, Abbas is really, really trying to burn this chapel. Uh, be so, oh my god, I was gonna say it'd be so funny if he just emerges with this. <laughs> oh no! All that work for nothing. I'm surprised Orange didn't go for Sacred Sides, by the way. I forgot to mention that no one went for Sacred Sides. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's a destruction. It's a destruction. And Orange has had enough. 20 land shits. Are you guys ready? Yo, just, just A move. Just A move. You're literally gonna kill everything. Just A move. Bro. Oh my god. Look at that. Look at that Spearman HP. Oh no. He's not paying attention. Con dead. GG. Oh, he loses all the ships. Wait a minute. Mongo just lost all the ships. HRE pushing in. No boiling oil, by the way. No boiling oil for up acid. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. That ain't looking too good. I mean, yeah, you can just fight under a keep. He doesn't care, right? You don't give a fuck. Yeah, full melee versus full melee against HRE is just not gonna work. He's getting the sacred sites. It's a destruction. It's a destru- I think Abbas is dead, no? He's got 10k food, but... Like, what do you even produce? It's the final countdown! Mongols here in the little- on the island boy's island. Keeps going up. What's the resources looking like? 3.5k gold. He's juiced out on the water eco. He's got nothing. Oh, wow, wow, who do we have here? Someone's mom's joining the fight. Okay. Yo, she, she nasty. Look at her, she's biting and stuff. Wisdom will be going down. There's still a TC on the mainland, but I think Abbasid just gave up. But oh no, he's still oh, Abbasid's still playing. He just moved all his villagers, but he's just not producing anything. I'm not sure what the plan is, but Abbas not been producing. Yeah, there's villagers coming here too. I think they're like trying to 
gather up so they can contest uh, the thing, but I just don't see it, man. I just don't see it. Okay, Mongols on the land. Okay. Okay. Oh, Mongols got resources. I mean, that's cool. Making horsemen. Mm. Mm, I mean, you know. Probably not gonna work. I mean, he doesn't know, but there's like a bajillion men at arms and, and. Yeah. Here we go. The ships are going down, but he don't need no ship. I mean, they could beat him by de uh, destroying the landmarks. But there's like three landmarks here. So, I don't know. And yeah, he... Mm, yeah, that's not... Mm, that's not... He's just gonna lose these immediately. Otto Chad is back with three stables and two archer ranges. Let's go. He can do it. He can do it for sure. I believe in him. Abbas is just. Dude, it'd be so funny if Abbas had just destroyed this dog. <laughs> Just burned it down. Is he trying to like? He's making a siege workshop. Oh, these guys are like trying to destroy this empire of HRE with like three horsemen and two archers. Oof. Double keep. Double keep. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, you did not want to lose those, but I don't think it matters. Ottoman is trading now, finally. Probably like a seven gold trade right there. He's making some units. I got... Dude, this is going to be the funny... Wait, did Abbasid... Abbasid actually destroy... <laughs> he destroyed the dogs of the Mongol can to trade. <laughs> oh no, he's lost plus four, plus four. So anyway, he made a fucking ram and then just destroyed the two dogs. How funny is that? Payback? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is 100% a payback. Listen, guys. Uh, I don't think that uh, two rams, eight villagers, and 40 trade ships... And uh, what is this? 10 Sipahi and, and 10 archers are gonna do it. I'm not gonna lie. I just don't. I just don't see it right now. It's making scouts here to burn stuff. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is gonna be the most. If there is a. Oh no. <laughs> Is he gonna try to take down this one? No, no, oh god. side we got five rams with no military support let's go yo can he take down that tower if he is gonna be so funny please emergency repair that shit do it give him a little emergency repair Yo, 
he almost decapped it. He almost decapped it. Damn. I mean, I don't think that would change the outcome of the game necessarily. Maybe, but probably not. Where are the Mongol trade ships? Lol. Oh no. Oh no. He's trading all the way here. He just got dented in quite badly. Wow. Four players still remaining. But in the end. I think Straw Jaw Ale is going to take this one. That's right, Marine Lord. He's done it. He has done it. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Well played, well played. I mean, listen, he, he had like... He looked... I mean, literally when he landed and took the three relics, I was like, yeah, his position is pretty good. Like, he's had the, the best position, like, the entire game. Like, he was doing well the entire game. He got the relics. He got the fishing. Look, the most resources, 87,000 gold. Look at these other guys. The second one got 37. Damn, brother. Did Orange ever get upgrades? No. I don't think so. Technology. Research count. 84. My ass. Society. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Military. Two, yo, listen, 2006 units killed. I mean, come on. You know what I mean? The next one doesn't even have half. I actually think that, I, I actually think that buff D. Dogo shot himself in the, you know, in the foot by attacking a terrain. If he attacked Abbasid, when Abbasid was fighting uh, Delhi, he would have probably killed Abbasid. And then maybe the game goes a different way. But it's hard to say, right? GG's strong job, Kratz, well played. And that was a destruction, I gotta say. Negative score in purple. Listen, it is what it is. I mean, he lost more buildings and lost more units than he killed. I guess that's why. I don't know. I was nearly there with the wonder. I know, Estiwana. I mean, you needed wood, but yeah. Almost. Almost. Anyway, if you're watching this on YouTube, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. Was this the fastest one? It was, right? 119. I'm pretty sure the other ones were longer. So the next one we will be doing, uh, probably not today on Twitch, but the next one we will be doing will be Diamond, and then we're going to do Conquer. So thank you everyone for playing today. I appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you had fun. If you're watching on YouTube, check me out on Twitch. I'm probably live right now casting the diamonds. And another thing, if you are on Twitch or on YouTube, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I found out recently that like 50 something percent of the people are not subscribed to my channel and they watch my videos. What are you doing? What are you doing? Come on. Almost 100K by the way. Almost 100K. We're, I think I'm like, like 90,000 or 89,000, something like that. Almost 100,000. Imagine. YouTube gamers, thank you for watching. Twitch gamers, let's keep going.